Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, we'll look on the integrations between Vue Extreme 7 and XSI. So if you have it before early versions of Extreme, what's happened after when you install it, you need it um, integrated and also when you launch, it's launch Vue external application and you kind of need to transfer object between the applications. A lot of stuff that you was creating in a Vue, you cannot directly access from inside the XSI. Vue 7 Extreme, it's totally rebreeding interface, it's how integrated and it's must have upgrade if you really work with integrations with exercise with the Maya, Max or other applications and Vue. The one thing what it does now applications, uh, objects can be directly accessed and created from inside the um, exercise. So let's example, you can notice right here we have a new menu. So after you install soft image, you can go ahead and uh, install Vue and it will add our um, drop down menu with all these options. All these options that you can access from inside the Vue now directly available in XSI. So we have it our new like normal file open safe exactly file menu. We have it our edit menu. And inside the edit we also have it all our additional replaced everything that we have it before. An object we also have it our create. We can create all our normal water grain plane, ground plane, sphere, everything, and also all our terrain procedural or standards, meta clouds, rocks, everything before, and also we can go ahead and create the trees or other things, other objects as well. So lights accessing anyway. This is very similar menu, and if you work before in a view, you will be very familiar with this. If not, if you come from exercise side, I really recommend you to go check our tutorials for the beginners for the view and um, other tutorials. They will help you to better understand how we work, so you will be very familiar with this menu. So let's go right now and go to object. We'll go to create, and let's create just sphere. You notice it will pop up and launch the host application inside, but we still um, actually reside inside the exercise, so we don't change the application. So when we add new object or decide to modify this object, we will be still inside the exercise application. So here is our sphere we created. Let's switch our camera view to main camera. Main camera, it's come from the, the view. Okay, so we have right here our camera. And let's go just slightly adjusting okay now we're ready um, let's render and see how it looks so if we're going right now and click on preview before selecting camera of course we'll go and see exercise camera will render okay it's exercise positioning and okay, when it's completed let's go to our render manager let's select um, our main camera so and now you see the render done from the view camera that was created when we import the uh, create new object. Again, you can access this object, you can modify properties of this. So let's delete it right now. Let's go to create. Okay, and we go ahead and create, let's create something else procedural terrain okay let's go to create object create will go from plant species so it will open if you just click on the plant it will add plant that last was selected so if you select that from plant species it will open this woo familiar selection bar for the plants also extreme seven come with a very big and vast selection of the trees so um, it does increase in price but if you ca calculate with all this modification and additional extra that you usually spend before like each tree was about ten dollars so with amount how much they provide it's way um, cost savings to go this way so we'll go select the tree let's click OK and in a second, it's take a little bit of time to calculating. So 
So right here we have a direct tree. Also, if you notice, now we have a tree and the best parts. Of course, we can go ahead, have it all these options. We can modify from inside of the exercise. So I create my tree. I adjust it, positioning how I want it. I can go ahead and rescale. Again, this is all we done from inside the exercise. Exercise or so accessing, modifying, playing, let's do adjusting all our environment. Okay, let's go now to atmosphere and let's load atmosphere. And let me select something from our new Mega Pack 3 selections. And let's go to something very wild looking atmosphere. Okay, atmosphere done loading. So let's go right now, preview our scenery. Okay, so here is our final image. We render inside the XSI with the blue atmosphere, the trees and terrain. And the next tutorials, we go look more deep on uh, integration with particle effects and other things. And thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web. It's www.geekatplay.com.